Hey everyone, How to Life here. Um, we're back again with another tutorial to add to the series of for the iWeb series. And in this tutorial, I wanted to show you how to make your own customized menu bar. Since in the last tutorial video, I showed you how to delete the default one, I want to show you how to make your own now. So on the side here, you can see that we have the mountains, my friends, and YouTube page. These are just random names I pick for pages. And uh, so what we first want to do, just to kind of make a mock menu bar, we're going to do under the site uh, that says about me then we're going to go to file and then add a page to this website and then it gives us all these random options and everything and we're just going to pick the same one that we have just for the same setup just for the sake of what we're doing right now so there's our second page and as you can see the default menu is still up here so we need to change that by going to the inspector and on checking the box but we're going to name this one mountains all you got to do is make a long click and then type in mountains and then we're going to make another page Let's do the exact same thing and name it with one of our other pages which was my friends and I don't even think we need to do all three pages just because by the time we get through these two you'll pretty much get what we're talking about so all we have to do is since we have mountains and my friends page already here you can actually rename here this one will be mountains and then my friends just so you know that one that goes to that page that we make sure it goes to the right page so for mountains what we can do is we can hyperlink this which what you have to do is you have to go to inspector and you have to go to the hyperlink page which is the blue circle with the little arrow in it and whatever you highlight it then you press enable as hyperlink and it says an external page and you can type in a URL or you can change it to one of my pages which is what we're doing and the page that we're going to do is you, it goes all, all the way to all your pages that you have presently on your on the area that you're working with and we want to go to mountains so we're going to select mountains and then what we're also going to do is just to help people make it more user friendly we're going to click the picture and we're going to enable that as a hyperlink as well and we're going to send it to the same page so we're going to send that to mountains too and then we want to do the same thing for my friends we're just going to highlight my friends and then enable that as a hyperlink go to one of my pages and then go to my friends page and then do the same for the picture as well one of my pages and then my friends alright so now that we have that done we should be able to publish it so we can see where it goes We're going to publish it to local folder. Alright, so we need to change from mobile me, which wants you to sign up for some 60 day trial thing, to local folder. So it will send it to a folder on your desktop, which you can there view it to make sure everything works. Alright, so we're going to choose the location as the desktop. And then, let's see, we'll publish it now. All right, let's visit the site. All right, so here you have our site. This is the first page that says about me. And then here's our mountains, our mountains uh, hyperlink that we made. And we just want to see to make sure that works. And there's there's our mountains pages you can see up here. And then let's go back and let's try the my friends. Yep, there that one works too. And then although it has the default menu up here, which we can easily change though. And then we want to make sure the pictures work too, so we make sure all the hyperlinks work. So that one went to mountains, and then this one went to my friends. So that's it for today. Uh, thanks for watching, and see you next time.